Hi, I'm Sam Hampton. I want to show you what my slider looks like. Everybody else has jumped in on the game and I went ahead and built one. Used parts from like the Frugal Gourmet and um, others who uh, have built uh, sliders and I think I've come up with a pretty neat motorized slider for about $25 and it's a uh, not complicated. I built the uh, thing out of two five-foot rails, which are in the electrical department at Home Depot. A one by four uh, left over board from a project from Ikea shelves. I used two two by fours and motorized it with a Tamiya gear, four position gear motor. And it's pretty neat to hook up. All you have to do is take the old rollers that you have. You can use rollers, you can use skates, you can use ball bearing, anything you want to. And it packs, packs away pretty compactly. But I just take the four things, set them down, make sure they're running, loop just a cotton string around a door slide. And I'll show you that in a moment. Take a double turn on the pulley. Get it so it's tight. And then wrap this around about three or four times. And you can secure it with a piece of tape. Now the power for this comes from four AA batteries. I have taken and made a six volt, a three volt, a 4.5 volt, and a 1.2 volt. Um, terminals so that I can run it at different speeds and all you have to do is hook up the little motor and if you want to go in the other direction you simply switch the terminals And I've got a chart as to what size of pulley you can use and how much voltage you can use. And you can make this travel the 52 inches of the um, track in between 400 seconds from here to there or in 20 seconds from here to there. So you've got a great latitude by changing your pulleys and your voltage to make this a really neat slider. All you have to do is find your camera. And hook it on. Tighten everything up. Turn your camera on. And away you go. It's as simple as that. Making a slider doesn't have to be complicated. And with a Tamiya motor, which costs 15 bucks at fries, it doesn't have to be expensive. All in all, for the rails, for the rails and the um, bat uh, battery pack, the motor, and the pulleys, I spent less than 20 bucks. All of the other stuff, 
was the strap. Now it is a little noisy, but you never use the uh, sound from the camera anyway on a slider shot, or at least I don't. And if you do, you can simply duplicate it by using another recording device. And there you go. If you happen to hit the back, this little motor has a um, clutch in it. So you don't run your motor and you don't dump your camera. Here are the uh, softbox lights I built. You simply take a 2 before and shave it down to a um, shape where it is cut off at a 45 degree angle. Put foam core board on it. Mount a um, power strip and then you can use plug-in lights up to four, three, and it makes a great light for video. I built these two lights with scrap parts and um, used uh, power strips and both of them cost me four dollars and ninety cents. And I'll show you how to do that. I also took a, another piece of um, one before and made an extension that you can put this on top of this and raise it up to six to eight feet. Pretty neat stuff for less than five bucks for two lights. You can put a piece of plastic or some nylon netting over it to make it even softer. And those are two lights. You don't have to spend a million dollars on your studio to light up and make something. A slider for less than 25 bucks or lights for less than five dollars for two. If you've got the spare parts and probably no more than fifteen dollars if you buy everything new. So I thought I'd share that with you and hope you enjoy it and you hope you enjoy your filmmaking.